Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to yet another Dell Unix adventure. In a previous video, I'm showing you how this system can be obtained pre-installed from Virtually Fun and how you can then just simply run it in the Systems Emulator 86 box. However, looking at the configuration file, one sees the disk geometry of 1015 cylinders, 16 heads and 63 sectors. Ha ha, methinks I'm having this nice Gericom 1997 machine which allows me in the BIOS to set precisely such a disk geometry. So on I go and flash the image that I obtained from Virtually Fun onto this 2 gigabyte compact flash card and having set the disk geometry correctly I should now be in the position to simply get into Dell Unix and haha uh -huh, spoiler alert just to show you the BIOS though spoiler alert this does of course absolutely work so when we're looking here at my BIOS, you can see I have put it to 10, 15, 16, 63 geometry. Okay, let's get out of here. And now we shall get into Dell Unix without, so to say, moving a finger to install it. But that will be, well, just half the story. As you can imagine, I did not request your attention today to just show you that I didn't do anything weird. <laughs> and so there is one thing we still need to take care of, specifically X11. Now, unfortunately, the Mach X11 11 server will not be working. In other words, we will now get nicely into Dell Unix. You will see that the system is coming up. Network is unreachable because, yeah, that machine doesn't even possess a network card. I can go inside as root. And I believe in the final tell start X, nothing happens. Yeah, that's what you would be getting too if you try to run X11 in the physical world. But that of course is a little bit, you know, unacceptable given what a beautiful system it is and how many X applications it had pre-installed. So I went on a little bit of a treasure hunt and long story short, if we move to user bin, X, I believe. Eh, anyway, to user bin X11. Yes, that was the directory. There are a lot of files in there, but if I just look at the X files, haha, you know, when Morpheus is bringing the system from the matrix into the real world, he does have to take care of the files properly. And what we're seeing here is a set of X files, which are servers for X. X itself, like the thing which is really starting when you are, when you are starting the X server, is linked to Xmach. And there is also another server called Xi386. Now I made copies of both. I copied Xmach to Xmach Orig and Xi. 386 to XI386 backup. The guys over there at Virtually Fun are also mentioning this issue. They are also saying, look guys, uh, XMach is only working with some specific graphics card choice, which, you know, we, we cannot play along here. We have what we have installed. So instead of this, I went for something, I mean, forgive me, utterly cheap. Yeah, so you, you can see them here also size-wise. I clobbered most brutally XMach with XI386. I simply 
overwrote it. And then, having thus completely clobbered it, a start X is in fact starting the X Windows environment, ladies and gentlemen. So here we now can use X applications. Unfortunately, the mouse does not try, does not work. I'm right now, as I speak, trying to move it. There is no movement. Virtually Fun had mentioned that in the RC scripts they have disabled the mouse so maybe the mouse demon so maybe that had to do but then again i did have some sort of mouse in the virtual system so this i haven't yet entirely solved most likely a serial mouse on com1 will work and then i would have to go to yeah what is it called var Was it var x5? This was the funny part. The, uh, the one is called x11, the user bin directory is user bin x11, whereas this one is, yeah, var x5. And when you say here list, then you're having here this xconfig file. And if one edits this, ugh, mouse, then you are at some point going to get here, yeah, to the mouse protocol and you see it is set to something where the mouse just might right now not be and this is the specific part that would need to get corrected in order to get the mouse working not all is lost though as actually this is behaving a little bit like windows 3.11 you know, that's actually funny. Alt and space is giving me the facility to actually move the window. You know, I can just with the arrow keys place it somewhere else on the screen, you know, like this. So look, ma, hands free. The user interface is indeed somewhat usable even without a mouse because this is not TWM. This is MWM as a window manager and therefore a little bit more forgiving. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you have now seen that it is indeed possible to translate virtually fun's virtual system <laughs> into a, a real installation. Ah, I always forget this funny pedantry of System 5 that I must be in the root directory in order to shut down. Uh, what was it? So you're shutting down. Yes, you are doing that. Like, don't ask me again. Grace period of zero and uh, machine condition zero, which means off. So that's how everything is now going down again. Also, I discovered something that I did not know of before, but that I would like to share with you, namely a book concerning X11R5 systems administration that is not the more popular X11 R6 that we are commonly dealing with nowadays, but that in a moment. So this is what I wanted to show you, ladies and gentlemen, that here on archive.org you may find the X Window System Administrator's Guide for, and that is the important part, X11 releases 4 and 5. In other words, before the modern X11 R6 release, whose configuration files differ substantially. I myself was not aware of this web page until today, and some of my past yet unpublished adventures cannot yet profit from this, so do not be surprised at my future bungling and helpless meandering in search of answers that just might be contained herein. But if you are vintage Unix adventurers, 
then may this hopefully be of help in your endeavors. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining today. Hope to greet you here soon again for further adventures. If not a subscriber yet, please consider joining our curious and friendly club. Thank you for watching, and from me, goodbye.